do you spend a lot of time sitting down? Particularly if you work in an office, you're going to spend a lot of time sitting in a chair. Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we can do to help prevent lower back pain. So what happens when we sit down in a chair is that our hips are in a flexed position. Now, when our hips are in a flexed position, this causes some tightness through the muscles that flex the hips, known as the hip flexors. It also causes some lengthening and some potential weakness in the muscles that extend the hips. Now, these are primarily your glutes, your glute max, um, and a little bit of the hamstrings. So we have an imbalance between the front and back of the hips, and that can pull our pelvis out of alignment. Now, when our pelvis gets pulled out of alignment, it gets what's called an anterior tilt, so it tilts forwards. That can also cause lengthening and stretching through the abdominal muscles and weakening through there, and at the same time, tightening up of the low back muscles. So we get, again, that imbalance from front to back. And what we can do is some really simple exercises just in our office chair that will help to strengthen up the weaker muscles and help to stretch the tighter muscles. So let me just show you a couple of things that you can do while you're in the office that will really help out. The first thing is just getting up from your chair and walking. Walking around is going to change your body position and it's gonna get your hips out of that flex position. So anytime that you have an opportunity to get up and walk around is a good thing. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna show you how to do is a squat. Now a squat is just basically sitting down and standing up. If you have a chair, you're already sitting down, all you need to do is stand up. If you wanna make it a bit of a repetitive exercise, you just keep your feet a little bit wider than your hips. You're gonna push your bottom back as if you're about to sit on the chair, but then stop right when you touch the chair, keep your abs nice and tight, and then come back up to a standing position. And you can do a few repetitions here, and that's gonna help strengthen up the glutes and the hamstrings. And it's also gonna use the quads a little bit in the front of the legs as well. Now, another thing that we can do sitting in our chair is called a pelvic tilt and we're gonna tilt the pelvis backwards and forwards to help get it into uh, a more neutral position. So, as I said, when we get tight through the hip flexors, it pulls our pelvis forward and our back arches. So what we wanna do is actually tip that pelvis backwards, and when we tip the pelvis backwards, we tighten the abs, and that's gonna to help to strengthen the abs and pull our pelvis into a better alignment. So if we're just doing that while we're sitting in our office chair, we're just rotating our torso back and forward and pulling that pelvis in. We're also going to do something to strengthen the hip extensors by extending our hips. So what we're going to do is come around behind our chair here and just holding on to your chair, all you're going to do is lift one leg up behind. And we want to make sure that our toes are pointing to the floor. We don't want to rotate our hip out. So facing forward, keeping your hands on the chair, we're just going to lift that leg up and down and by doing that we're actually extending the hip and we're contracting those muscles on the back side and helping to strengthen those back up. Now there's two final things that we're going to do and these are actually not exercises these are stretches and this is going to help us to stretch the muscles that are tight. So the first one that we are going to do is for your hip flexors. And what you're going to need to do for this is kneel down on the floor. One foot in front on the knee on the back knee as if you're proposing, okay? So in this position, we are going to stretch the hip flexor of the back hip, and all we're doing here is in this lunging position, leaning forward, keep the torso upright until you feel a stretch here. And when we're stretching, it should feel a little bit tight, but it shouldn't be painful. We don't wanna feel any pain, okay? And then the last stretch that we're gonna do is for those tight low back muscles. So this is a very simple one. Sitting in your chair, all you need to do is just simply bend forward, reach your hands down, and relax down into the stretch. So those are some really simple exercises that you can do from your office chair, and that's gonna actually help to stretch your muscles that are a bit too tight and strengthen your muscles that are a bit too weak.